Dear friends, welcome to the channel, Doctor on Travel. This time we are visiting Luxor, city in Egypt. Luxor. That name conjures images of ancient Egyptian splendor located on the east bank of the Nile River. Luxor is often referred to as the world's greatest open-air museum. The Valley of the Kings is one of the most iconic archaeological sites in Egypt, located near Luxor on the west bank of the Nile River. It served as the burial site for many pharaohs of the New Kingdom period, roughly spanning from the 16th to the 11th century BC. The valley is renowned for its rock-cut tombs, which were decorated and designed to house the remains of Egypt's rulers, along with their treasures and provisions for the afterlife. Some of the most famous tombs in the Valley of the Kings include those of Tutankhamun, Ramses II, Seti I, and Hatshepsut. The discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb by Howard Carter in 1922 is perhaps the most well-known event associated with the Valley of the Kings. The treasures found within Tutankhamun's tomb provided invaluable insights into ancient Egyptian culture and burial practices and captured the imagination of people worldwide. Today, the Valley of the Kings continues to be a major tourist attraction, drawing visitors from all over the globe who come to marvel at the ancient tombs and learn about the rich history of ancient Egypt. This is the tomb of Ramesses IV, one of the pharaohs of the 20th dynasty of ancient Egypt. Located in the Valley of the Kings, this tomb is notable for its well-preserved decorations and inscriptions. Ramesses IV ruled during the 12th century BCE and is known for his military campaigns and architectural projects. This tomb is relatively large and features a descending corridor, pillared hall, burial chamber, and various annexes. The walls of the tomb are adorned with scenes from the Book of Gates, Book of Caverns, Book of the Earth, and other funerary texts, depicting the pharaoh's journey through the afterlife and his encounters with various deities. While this tomb is not as famous as some other tombs in the Valley of the Kings, it is still an important archaeological site that offers valuable insights into the religious beliefs and burial practices of ancient Egypt. This is the tomb of Ramesses IX, another pharaoh of the 20th dynasty of ancient Egypt. Ramesses IX ruled during the 12th century BC and is known for his efforts to stabilize the Egyptian economy and for his military campaigns against various neighboring people. Located in the Valley of the Kings near Luxor, it is one of the largest tombs in the valley. It consists of a long corridor leading to a series of chambers including a pillared hall and a burial chamber. This tomb is notable for its well-preserved decorations and inscriptions, which provide valuable insights into ancient Egyptian religious beliefs and burial practices.
This is the tomb of Ramesses III, lies in the Valley of the Kings, amidst the mysterious desert sands that hold the secrets of ancient pharaohs and gods. The entrance to the tomb is a simple carving on the limestone cliffs, but it leads to a place of great significance. Here we can see the fascinating details of this ancient burial chamber, which holds many secrets and mysteries. Ramses III was the second pharaoh of the 20th dynasty of ancient Egypt. He ruled during the New Kingdom period, around the 12th century BCE. Ramses III is often considered to be one of the last great pharaohs of Egypt's New Kingdom era. He is particularly famous for his military victories against foreign invaders, as well as for his extensive building projects throughout Egypt. He has prevented the invasion by the Sea People, a confederation of seafaring raiders who were a significant threat to the stability of the Eastern Mediterranean at the time. Ramses III successfully repelled their invasion in a series of naval battles. Ramses III also undertook various construction projects, including temples and monuments. He also built extensively in the Nile Delta region. Despite his military successes and building projects, Ramses III's reign was not without its challenges. The most significant event that brought Tutankhamun a global fame was the discovery of his nearly intact tomb in the Valley of the Kings by British archaeologist Howard Carter in 1922. The tomb, designated KV-62, was filled with invaluable artifacts, including a solid gold funerary mask, jewelry, chariots, model boats, and a variety of other items intended to assist the young king in the afterlife. The discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb popularized the notion of the Curse of the Pharaohs, a supposed curse that affects those who disturb the mummies of ancient Egyptian pharaohs. This myth gained traction after several individuals involved in the tomb's excavation died under mysterious circumstances. However, most historians and scientists consider the curse to be a combination of coincidences and the sensationalism of the press. Studies of Tutankhamun's mummy have revealed that he suffered from several health issues, including a possible cleft palate, scoliosis, and a clubfoot. DNA tests indicated that he had malaria, and it is believed that a combination of malaria and physical ailments may have contributed to his premature death. Despite his short reign, Tutankhamun has become one of the most famous pharaohs due to the wealth of artifacts found in his tomb and the global interest they sparked in ancient Egyptian history. His funerary mask has become an iconic symbol of ancient Egypt and is one of the most well-known artifacts in the world. The Temple of Hatshepsut is a mortuary temple located on the west bank of the Nile, near the Valley of the Kings in Luxor, Egypt. Built during the 18th dynasty of the New Kingdom, it was commissioned by Pharaoh Hatshepsut. Hatshepsut was one of the few female pharaohs and is often regarded as one of the most successful rulers of ancient Egypt. Her temple not only served as a mortuary site, but also reinforced her divine right to rule and her contributions to the prosperity of Egypt. The temple is one of the most striking architectural masterpieces of ancient Egypt and serves both as a testament to Hatshepsut's reign and her divine birth. Thank you for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe this channel, Doctor on Travel. See you again. Bye.